From a 1,000 meter entity that uses anti-memetic camouflage and walks on the ocean to a small bipedal plantiator. What happened if SCP-2256, the very tall things, evolved from natural selection? Early sauropodomorphs, small bipedal to semi-quadrupedal plant eaters, where early long neck evolution began, Lachi Triassic Prosauropods, <laughs> more robust than earlier forms, possessing significantly longer necks and stronger forelimbs. Lachi Triassic <laughs> Neosauropods fully quadruped, gigantic herbivores with a highly efficient air sac system for weight reduction. Middle Jurassic <laughs> Early Tynosaurus Ancestors of Titanosaurs characterized by more flexible necks and adaptation to warm open landscapes, early Cretaceous. One of the earliest discovered type possessing a long tail and heavy body, Lachi Cretaceous. Tynosaur, colossal titan with partially translucent or fully invisible skin, allowing it to move silently. Now, SCP-2256 possessed an antimemetic camouflage, making it extremely difficult to perceive or remember, and gained the ability to walk on the surface of the ocean 20 million years to the future. From a small, ancient herbivore to a massive, memoria-raising, ocean-walking titan, this is a fun hypothetical look at how evolution might have shaped the SCP-2256, the very tall things. 